stepping into a police car in uniform is a long way from stepping in handcuffed. I'm not supposed to be here. You know what I mean? Wearing a police badge wasn't the badge of honor Mervyn Mayo dreamed of. I grew up in, um, in the project. I made some bad decisions. Creighton Court is where he called home, a neighborhood in Richmond's East End. 80% of the people that I grew up with are either there, they either passed on or either they're um, locked up. That environment is all he knew. All of the things that I've been involved in, you know, growing up, um, things that I've seen. But one person saw a different side of Mayo. Richmond police officer Simmons provided Mervyn a lifeline and a chance to shine. It's things that I've done where I should have been arrested, but instead, you know, he took me under his wing, took me to give me something to eat. Officer Simmons provided the positive role model he needed. So I wanted to be just like this police officer. This mentorship pushed Mayo to find a different way to express his emotions. Every time I try. He developed a lifelong love of playing the piano and belting out the word of God. God did it. Music is an outlet. Like when I'm going through some things, I'll come home or go to my church, jump on my piano. Sometimes I'll play, I mean, for hours and hours, and just play and just sing and just get it all out. These days, Mayo serves as a school resource officer for Richmond Alternative School. Most of the yeah. kids, are, they're already on uh, ankle, ankle monitors, you know, already on probation. They've already been kicked out of all the other schools. And so this is it. This is, we have to get through this because the next step is, is jail. He works to turn their trajectory using the tool that reached him in his office. Kids come in there, I try to teach them um, major chords, minor chords. That looks like a keyboard paired with some key life lessons. To have them intrigued about my music is just it's enough to keep them off the streets. You know what I mean? It's giving them an outlet for it's something It's giving else. them an outlet, right. Mayo's talents are captivating more than just his students. I wouldn't expect anybody to even see this. A 2020 video of him singing in uniform went viral. I just like to sing and, and post. I was not expecting that. Like, stuff like that just doesn't happen to people like me. AGT. Now, an even bigger audience is hearing what Mervyn is made of. The America's Got Talent competition. I was like really nervous. Like, I was really nervous. My hands were sweating. Wearing his Richmond police officer uniform, Officer Mayo belts out his rendition of Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud. This is awesome. I was not expecting all this. Yeah. Mayo's voice and story mesmerized the judges, earning him a spot to move on to the next round of competition. So it's, it's just surreal. Surreal. Bringing it to bringing your talents to a whole other platform. Whole platform, yeah. While the outcome of the competition remains unknown, Mayo feels like he's already won. Not only to be here, to, not only to still be alive, not only to still be alive and be healthy, but to still be alive, to be healthy, and to be flourishing. It's just, it's just you know, it's no words that, that can explain. From a Creighton Court kid, one mistake away from trouble with the law, to wearing the badge and changing his tune. Mervyn wants to help others hit a high note in life. If I can give that back, to a youth that fatherless and or motherless, you know, just to have that role model, just to have a mentor. Officer Mervyn Mayo carrying notes all while creating change. change you know, because I know for a fact that, that, I, that I'm, what they say, living on borrowed time. I'm not supposed to be here, you know, but I'm here and I'm grateful for it. In Richmond, Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.